And several central Illinois communities and counties have issued burn bans recently with elevated fire danger. The warm, dry and windy weather can see a small fire take off very quickly. So Darren, can you explain a little bit about what that means? Oh, well, that is absolutely right. The dry and very windy conditions helping to contribute to that elevated fire danger across central Illinois. And it looks like a lot of the Midwest is kind of being plagued with that as well. It has been several weeks since we've seen measurable rainfall and things just have continued to dry out, not only with our farmlands, but with vegetation here across the region. You couple in the winds that have been coming throughout there for today, 15 to 25 miles per hour. And yes, any small flood flame can turn into a very large fire very quickly, whether it be from a cigarette butt being flicked out the window, someone burning a small pile of leaves, or even just sparks coming off farm equipment or dragging chains on the area roadway. You get that small little flame to happen. You factor in those winds that are coming through and that small fire can turn into a very large fire quickly. As we saw in Champaign County over the weekend, those chains dragging on the ground sparked into a more than 120 acre fire around the Champaign County area and definitely can see with the winds that driving fire behavior very erratically. Thankfully, it does look like winds are going to continue to calm down tonight and as we're heading into our Wednesday forecast, looking a little bit breezy as we're getting into the second half of our day, but coming in out of the northwest, still going to be looking at elevated fire danger conditions here in central Illinois until we get more substantial rainfall and those winds begin to calm down. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more central Illinois news.